welcome back to Mortgage Minute with Mitch. So hopefully you didn't miss me too much the last couple weeks. Uh, took some time away with the family. We uh, took a trip to Myrtle Beach and just had an amazing time. Uh, honestly, the you know the kids seeing the ocean for the first time, getting getting their reaction was easily one of my favorite moments of being a parent so far. So a lot of fun. And uh, to top it off, when I got back. Any loan officer can attest, I mean, when you get back from vacation, it's usually just a, a nightmare trying to get caught back up and, you know, make sure that everyone is on track to close. But my team was unbelievable. Just uh, another reminder that I worked for one of the best lenders out there. Fantastic job just taking care of my clients while I was gone. So uh, made it coming made coming back just a little bit easier. So um, what, did, uh, what did we miss when I was gone? Well, Guardians are back in first place. We're currently one game ahead of Minnesota and uh, two and a half up on Chicago, who actually comes to town this weekend. So uh, a lot of great baseball ahead of us, and uh, it's going to be a tight race. We'll see what happens. Um, the Browns, we got a little bit of closure here. We finally know what's happening with Deshaun Watson's suspension. So six games wasn't enough. Apparently 11 games is. So hopefully that'll teach him to behave. We'll see. Uh, but certainly didn't impress in his first preseason appearance. Uh, I think he was one for five with seven yards, so a little, little rusty there. But... Uh, Joshua Dobbs actually looked pretty good. He had a pretty good stat line. And rookie Jerome Ford, I mean, aside from that one fumble, he looked pretty good. So um, we seem to be stacking these uh, talented running backs. But um, another game Sunday at 1 o'clock. And uh, a lot of good, hopefully, good football ahead of us. So uh, in mortgage news, so, you know, the market was pretty calm while I was gone. Rates didn't do a whole lot. But since I've been back, it's been an interesting week. So they're, they're kind of testing the 50-day floor right now. And um, you know we're certainly hoping that if they did, they bust through that, uh, we, we don't want to see rates shoot up like flying out of a slingshot. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'll be monitoring that and hopefully have a better update for you next week. But you know initial jobless claims came in for the second straight week over 250,000. That's a big benchmark because that hasn't happened since November, and that's something that you know I've been watching for a while now. Um, Pricewaterhouse Coopers even came out with a, a survey that they they interviewed a ton of businesses and about 50% of them are expecting to reduce their headcount going forward, not, not actually grow. So some concerning uh, statistics there in the, uh, you know, the job market. So you know, we'll see how that plays in and, and how the Fed's going to continue the balancing act. But still a phenomenal time to buy a home. If you are interested, I'm back, ready to take applications and help you out if you need assistance and uh, get you into the right home. So let me know how I can help. This weekend looks like it might be some rain. Um, so if you see the sun shine and get out there and do what you need to do because it uh, looks like Saturday evening and into Sunday we'll probably see a little bit of rain coming. So whatever you do, enjoy yourself. Let me know how I can help. And uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.